Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another Overwatch video class guide. We are back on some more offense heroes because we're working our way through them. We're on McCree this time. So McCree is a kind of cowboy type of dude with a rifle or a handgun and he has flashbangs, he has a dodge roll and he has a really good ultimate which is great in team fights. So in the previous video I spoke a bit about damage fall off and I'll just go through that again. So basically the further away you are from a target the less damage you do to them. That doesn't apply to all heroes however but it does apply to McCree. So here we got him down to two and a half bars, but if we're right up close and we shoot him in the head, we'll get him to a bit less. But yeah, does it, um, I'll show you guys from more further away. Let's go up to here. So pretty far away from the target, and we barely did any damage, even though we got a headshot right there. But if we're right up close to a target and we get a headshot, it'll do a lot more damage. So that's the damage fall from the Kree. It's pretty significant. It just means you can't stand really far away and snipe people off with headshots. So you got to actually have a bit of skill required. Get up into the fight. Mm, McCree's kit. So McCree has no passive ability this time. So we just have the E, the left shift, and the ultimate ability. So McCree's auto attack has two forms once again. There's a normal form where he shoots a singular bullet. I see this is very underused. Um, it doesn't move as well. So see how when you shoot there's a big recoil. But your bullet stays in the same position. So I'll show that off here. We're going to shoot this arrow and just hold the mouse down. We're going to shoot the arrow every time, even though there's a big recoil. But um, the second form of your auto attack is fan the hammer. So that is a... Just shoot um, all of your six bullets in one go. All of your remaining bullets in one go, sorry. So if you have four shots left, your fan the hammer will only be four shots. Um, if you're aiming it around their neck, the recoil will push it up and you will mess someone up pretty badly. A uh, good combo that pretty much every McCree knows is you chuck a flashbang, then you fan the hammer somebody. That is usually always a kill on really squishy heroes. Um, McCree took a big damage buff, um, dam damage nerf recently. He used to be a lot stronger. Um, he, um, he used to wipe out tanks, he just melts them. But now it is a little bit more balanced, he does less damage towards them. But yeah, if you're on someone's head and you just hold the mouse down, of course people won't be standing still, but yeah. Um, you won't suffer from the recoil. His ultimate is called its High Noon, and it shoots bullets at everyone that take, it locks onto. It takes a while to lock onto people though, so you can't do it immediately. But it gives a big warning to the enemy which says it's High Noon, and pretty much everyone knows that they've got to get under cover when that happens, because otherwise they'll get one shot by McCree's ultimate ability. So, it says face up against your enemies, press Q to lock on, and then Q or left click to fire. So I'll just I'll charge up the ultimate again and then show that off again. But yeah, basically if someone's moving, just chuck a flashbang and fan the hammer them. Your flashbang does a little bit of damage as well, so you can get kills with that. McCree's melee is just punching someone. If you punch someone in the head or the or what's it called or the um, body, it doesn't change the damage. It's the same. But yeah, you can finish people off with that if they're low. Okay, let's get him low. Punch him and then chuck a flashbang. Okay, he didn't die from it, but he was very low. I'll get back to the ultimate ability again. But yeah, McCree is not a really long-range hero, but he can be useful in some situations. Um, his, I'll go through his left shift after that in a minute. So yeah, you have to lock onto people, like fully lock onto them. And once the circle goes around their head, it means you do full damage to them. But in that time, where it hasn't locked on, you don't actually do much damage to them, if at all. But yeah, um, you can set your melee key to V, and well, you can set it to whatever you want actually, and then you just you can get finish people off with the melee. The left shift ability is a combat roll, so you just dodge in the direction you're moving. This is not like Genji's ability where you can like dodge into the air, but yeah, it's not very useful um, for getting to places. Like it can't really assist you with jumps. Like for example, that you have to be rolling while you're on the ground, so you can't jump in the air and then do a roll. But yeah, it helps if you're getting, if you're in a big 1v1 and you just need to distract people and they're shooting you, you just dodge to the side really quickly and then wreck them. His reload does take a while though, but you can reload cancel it, so you can cancel anyone's reload with a melee and it comes back quicker. As soon as the bullets enter the chamber basically, so you see him put the bullets back in and then you cancel the reload. So basically as soon as you see the number go up to 6 out of 6 at the bottom of the screen, it's just a little bit faster than waiting with the whole the whole animation. Um, get the high noon again. So yeah, you see it takes a while to lock on. And then just press it whenever. And 
something. It one-shots them. It one-shots everybody, I think, once fully locked on. But um, things like Reinhardt Shield, Zenyatta Shield... Um, no, sorry, not Zenyatta Shield. Zarya Shield can really make her ult less effective. But yeah, it's really strong in team fights. Um, I don't really like the combat role, and I'm not a fan of the damage nerf that he just went through, but McCree is still a pretty top pick. He also does counter... Um, what's her name? He does counter Tracer very heavily, because when she jumps around, which is really squishy, so you just chuck one flashbang, and then you fan the hammer her, and then she is dead. So yep, that was my McCree guide. Hope you guys liked it. Stay tuned for Pharah next week, I think it is. Pharah, not next week, but soon. Um, Pharah is probably one of my main offense heroes, and a Reaper as well. Yeah, I'm not really a fan of McCree, to be honest, after the nerfs he got. But yeah, I'm a big fan of Pharah. She's really good on most maps with her CC and utility and everything like that. But yep, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked it, and see you guys next time.